Have you ever been sitting at your desk, eating food, and then you go to type something on your computer and you realize, oh, well, now I got dirty hands, I can't type. So then you have to get all the way up, out of your chair, walk all the way to the bathroom, then wash your hands, then walk all the way back to your chair, and then sit back down. A lot of work, right? Well, guess what? What if I told you you could avoid all of that work and just use your voice to feed yourself? That's why I built the automatic snack time machine. <laughs> I thought I'd be able to get through that one with a straight face. It's not happening. It's not gonna happen. Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna hook up a voice assistant to a fan. That fan is gonna blow a marble into a cup which is attached to a string, which is attached to a trap door, and that trap door is closing a compartment that is above me on my ceiling. And when that marble falls into that cup, it will pull away the trap door, making a piece of food drop directly into my mouth. And the only thing I had to do to eat that food was say, hey Google, turn on snack time. It is time, my friends, to get going with the automatic smack, smack? The automatic smack machine. <laughs> no, that's, that's a different episode, but it might happen, actually. That's not a bad idea. Okay, it is time to make the automatic snack machine. So, I think the first thing we're going to start with is getting the Google set up. Now, I do have one unknown here. The fan I want to use, I don't know if it's actually going to stay on when the power to the outlet turns off. Is that, I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but <laughs> this should be easy. I don't see this being that difficult. Watch this take me like six hours to do. <laughs> that is the fridge I want to do this on. This right here is where my chair is going to go, and I'm going to sit right here, look up, open my mouth, and a snack should fall right in. As you see, the fan is already there. It's a tiny fan, so I'm hoping it's powerful enough. This right here is how this whole thing is going to work. If you don't know what this is, this is a Wi-Fi plugin that will turn on by me saying something to Google. Now, I set the name of this to say snack time. So I'm gonna plug the fan in, and that will make the fan go, and then everything else should happen after. Hey Google, turn on snack time. All right, turning the snack Yes! <laughs> This is the lamest thing to get happy about, but that works. This whole thing is going to work, I think. I'm hoping this has enough power to push a marble off of this into the cup. So we need to test that now. This has to blow this off the table, right? All right, let's see if this works. Yeah, you know, I wondered if that would be a problem, and it is. <laughs> it is not blowing the marble off. Now, as you see here, the fan is kind of blowing this way, so I'm gonna try and put something to elevate the marble. I've got two relatively bigger books, so I'm gonna put the marble here, and it already wants to roll off that way. So if I turn this this way, no way, dude. <laughs> This is a genius. The book was an unintentional genius plan. When the fan turns on, it's gonna blow the page, which will make the marble roll. So like, I don't have to worry about it not being able to blow the marble. When I turn the fan on, it should blow this page a little bit. This should work. <laughs> I hope it does. Come on, please. Really? Okay, right there. Three, two, one, please. Come on, come on. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, okay. Here we go. Hey Google, turn on snack time. Sure, turning on no snack way. time. No way, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I should not be this excited about this, but this is awesome. I know you can't see me at the moment, but that's not important. What's important is that I have to tie this string to this cup. Actually, I take it back. Something I'm more used to working with, duct tape. Now we need to tape this. So this is hanging. 
This might work. <laughs> this might actually work. No way. Let's build our cardboard thing. I'm basically just gonna cut this up, make a kind of a tube out of it, but leave the top one empty or open, and then make a trap door that's gonna be barely hanging on and barely holding the food in. Simple. What am I gonna use for the trap door? Sticky notes. Now, what are sticky notes notorious for? Doing this, right? You hang it on to something, and then a day later you come back and it's completely gone, right? <laughs> so that's exactly what I need right now. I need something that's going to barely need to hold on, but when something falls in that cup, it needs to rip it off. Now, I need to cut this into a tube. So enjoy my beautiful craftsmanship here as I build the tube. All right. I don't wanna jump the gun. I think I've just completed the tube. Sticky note right there to hold it in, right? What could go wrong? <laughs> Come on now. Now I just have to do one more thing. I have to put this on the ceiling somehow. This is the part I haven't quite figured out yet. <music> Gotta say, this is the first time I've ever had you looking at my ceiling for a video. Here's my ceiling. Okay, now that you're introduced to my ceiling, <laughs> let's build. <laughs> now we could do it straight down. That also might work and it might be easier to build it that way, but I'm gonna try and build it like this first, somehow. Okay, I'm standing on the most untrustworthy chair to stand on ever. <laughs> it's the squeaky chair from the old videos. If you're an OG, you remember me squeaking my chair in every video. I don't trust this chair at all. I never have and I never will. <laughs> I'm gonna set up some sort of tape rig to make it kind of hang, like suspended from the ceiling and hope that that's good enough. Hang on, I just had a spur of the moment idea and I got this nice convenient ledge on my ceiling. Not sure why it's there to be honest with you. <laughs> that's definitely going to hold. Okay, hold up a second here. This might work. I'll be sitting here. Can you see me? Okay, you can. All right, so I'll be sitting right here. Should fall right in. <laughs> no way. <laughs> so I need this much. So let's just cut off. Hey guys, this is how I cut stuff. Ah, wow, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, take that. Sticky note has to just sit right on the end. Come on. No way. <laughs> No way! Another thing that's just perfectly successful. The cup is gonna fall just below the chair, basically. See, this is holding on barely, but I'll fix that in a moment. When it comes down, it sits right there, right? I just need a path that leads from this to that, right? And then the marble will roll down and we're good to go. All right, so I'm gonna use one of my leftover pieces of cardboard and I'm gonna put it in place so that will lead straight to the cup. So if the marble's right here and this rolls down, what happens? See, it, it's gonna miss the cup. So I'll make duct tape walls and I'll be right back. All right, the walls are now in place. I know I realize it's probably one of the worst looking things I've ever built in my life, but it's okay. This is gonna go right here, let's test. Okay, it works. No way. <laughs> Are you kidding? Okay, ready? Here we go. Hey Google, turn on snack time. Come on. Yes? Yes? Okay, it didn't fall, but that's only because I have too much duct tape attached. Okay, for this to actually count as working, I have to catch a single piece of food. I'm gonna put a singular M&M up in that thing. One single M&M. The M&M is inside the contraption. Here we go. It is officially time to put this contraption to the test. Attempt number one. Here we go. I have a feeling this might take 20 attempts. <laughs> hey Google, turn on snack time. Sure, turning the snack time on. Marble, okay. There's not enough weight. I'm gonna put something inside the cup to weigh it down a little bit more. This is like probably a quarter of a pound, so I hope this isn't too heavy. It's good. It is in there. You can see how tight this string is. It just fell. <sighs> it was all going so well. I knew something wasn't gonna go right. I knew something would not go right. I went searching because I realized that small marble is just not enough weight. But I've got this. This is a bigger marble, as you can see. So I'm gonna try this. I don't know if the air is gonna be enough to blow that or not. I just wanna point out, it's 441. I've been working on this since 2.30. Two hours for this. You better like this video and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> hey Google. 
Turn on snack time. Please. That hit right here. Are you for real right now? It's 5.32 now. I've been here for three hours now trying to get this. Hey Google, turn on snack time. Sure, turning on the snack time. It hit right there. Are you serious? Hey Google, hey Google, hey Google, hey Google. Hey Google, 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 hey Google. Three, two, one. Please let this work. Hey Google, turn on snack time. Got it. Turning on the snack I have successfully fed myself with an automatic machine and only my boys. Yes! And there goes the string. Yes! I'm never doing this again, ever. <laughs> and that is the automatic way to feed yourself with your voice. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, please drop a like on this because it literally took me three and a half hours to do this. This should be easy. I don't see this being that difficult. My mind is blown right now. I thought it was never gonna happen. Honestly, I kind of just started giving up. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. We are trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We are so close. Check out the merch since I wore it today. I'll promote it, link down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace out guys, see ya.